What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, thanks for coming back and watching another lesson. Uh, we're going to do a fun song with, uh, you know, most of the open chords, but it's got a really cool sound to it, the progression and the way you play it. So hopefully you have fun, too, learning it. Uh, also, I appreciate all that extra support besides watching these videos. Uh, and even just watching, I appreciate that, too. But I got a bunch of links down below this box. You can check it out. Whatever you can do, I appreciate it. Uh, but let's zoom in and uh, have a little fun. Here we go. Capo on the fourth fret, and it's in the key of A minor. So if we started with this A minor chord, but we took our index finger off, of this tenacious D kind of chord, um, so we're gonna pluck the the. back to D, just like that, and you let them ring out. Then we're going to the B string, and it's the one, two, third fret up from the capo. You're still holding that, and letting it ring out. Then you hit that first fret on the B while it's all ringing out. And then that open B, so. Move your middle finger to the second fret of the A string. Ring finger hasn't changed. And now you have an E7 sus4 chord. It looks like an A7, but an A7 would be right there. This is up here. Okay, so next we've got A minor down. That's a good one to start. Okay, so check it out. We need A minor, G, and then F. And I'm playing F this way. There's lots of different ways to play F. I'm going ring, pinky, middle, first. And then it goes real nice to the C chord. Okay, check it out. A minor, G, F, G. So they go by pretty quick, but if you're uh, a beginner working on your chords, then you just want to, you know, just while you're watching TV, or I used to say a long time ago, waiting for your Pop-Tart or whatever, you can just practice the chord changes. Anyway, here we go. A minor, G, F, G. And then we're going to E7, which is just like an E chord, an E major chord, but with the ring finger off. And it's easiest to just... is to hit that E7. Bah, bah, bah. And then we're going to add that sus4, which is on the G string, second fret, like this. And it's what those background vocals... Okay, check it out. A minor, G, F, G, E7, sus4, back off. Okay? Now, it goes to an F chord from that E sus, and it's, it's a little funky uh, with the way it fits rhythmically, so check it out. A minor, G, F, G, E7. So it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that final bar 
is cut in half by the F chord. One, two, three, four, one, two. So, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two. Here it is from the top. So they go by quicker in that second half, in that final chord, you've got an A minor to an F and then right to that E7 sus4 thing again. Check it out. A minor, G, F, G, E7, a sus, then off, F, C, E7, A minor, Here it is, full speed. One, two, one, two, da 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 da. And then the chorus is just really the same thing, a little different. So that's the chorus, instead of it going, right, instead it's just, starts the second round. So the jam for the solo is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So that was three measures of A minor. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the fourth measure, the fourth bar, as we would say in music terms, uh, that fourth measure is A minor, F, then C, E7, A minor, F, and then the E7 sus thing. And then the second half of the solo is the regular chorus progression. So let me walk you through that again. One. Second half of the solo, A minor, G, F, G, E seven thing. And then you have the whole song. Oh. All right, there you have it. Uh, another classic for you, for the books. Check it off the list. Uh, and thanks for the extra support, too, like the links and all that stuff. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, that's it. Until next time. Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from guitarjams.com.